Together with the whole church on earth, we confess our faith in the words of our baptismal creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Pinned up in our homes, but united in the one flock of believers, we pray for the church, the earth, the world, and all in need, asking God our shepherd, using the words, restore our life. For the church, O oh God, we pray that we will hear and follow your voice, calling to us in the word, that bishops and pastors be sustained for their shepherding tasks, that churches devastated by the virus be upheld, that in this time churches find ways to continue their ministries of education and service. O oh God, faithful shepherd of the church, Restore our life. For the earth we pray, that lands and waters be renewed, that animals and plants enjoy safe growth, that rain and soil nurture the fields, that drought and floods in Yemen be averted and locusts of Kenya cease their frenzy. O oh God, steadfast gardener of the earth, restore our life. For the nations of the world, we pray that heads of state and legislators cooperate for the good of all, that medical experts be heeded, that government monies serve the nation's greatest needs, that during Ramadan, Muslims are granted release from prejudice. O oh God, fearless peacemaker of the nations, restore our life. For a world so economically divided, we pray, that the millions of those unemployed be given food and shelter now and jobs in the future, that children find a fruitful means of education, that refugees be safeguarded from violence and prejudice, that inspired by the early Christians, those who have means become ever more generous to those who endure great want. O oh God, just protector of the poor, restore our life. For all in need, we pray that those afflicted with the coronavirus be cared for, that the sick be healed, that those in despair find hope, that those who are lonely be comforted, that medical workers be safeguarded, that those we name here receive the best possible care. John Huntley, Robin's brother Tom, Terry, Robert, Phyllis Cassette, Jean, Bob Siebel, Mitch May, Ellen, Keith, Jamie, Mark, Alex, Robert, Carol, Deb, Helen, Katie, Perry, Irene, Ben, Angie, Sarah, Charlie, Christine, Michelle, Emily, Lydia, and Madeline. O oh God, mighty healer of the sick, restore our life. For our own desires, we pray that like the shepherds, Rachel and David, each tending their father's flocks, we will be blessed for the fulfilling of, for fulfilling our tasks and that you hear the cries of our hearts. You may offer your own intercessions at this time.
O God, tender shepherd of each of us, restore our life. Be with families who are anxiously awaiting new babies. Hold their fears and their excitement and give them assurance that you are active and present with them, that you are holding them and this new life in your hands, and that you will carry them through whatever comes. We especially lift up Joe and Danielle Nagel and Brett and Hannah Hawkins. O oh God, our hope, restore our life. We pray for Kathy Rust's friend and travel companion, Suzanne Valorand, who fell and broke her arm Friday and who lives by herself. Watch over her in this troubling time. O oh God, our hope, restore our life. We praise you for those who have died in the faith, Remembering this week the family and friends of Phil Catanzaro, we pray that at our end, as sheep of your own fold, as lambs of your own flock, we will be gathered into your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. O oh God, gateway to life, restore our life. Into your everlasting arms, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your care for us, through Jesus Christ, our guardian and friend. God's people say, Amen.